Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we discussed how to configure and set up privileged identity management. We discussed how to assign roles, how to activate role assignments, how to add an approver. We discussed how approver approves or rejects the role assignment request and how to extend or renew the role assignments post expiration. In this particular video, we will be talking about group based licensing. We will discuss what is group based licensing, what is the purpose of using group based licensing, and I will show you three use case scenarios of group based licensing. So before we start discussing how to configure group based licensing in Azure Active Directory, First, let's understand what is the purpose of using group based licensing. If a user wants to access certain resources or applications in Office 365 or in Azure, he needs a supported license or a subscription. Without a supported license, users will not be able to access these services. Now, as an administrator, you can assign these licenses to the users either from Office 365 Admin Center, from Azure Active Directory, or using PowerShell commands. It seems to be an easy task when you have few users in your tenant. As an administrator, you can easily assign licenses to these users manually. But let's say if you have 500 users, or let's say you have more than 10,000 users in your tenant, Assigning license to all these users one by one is not feasible. Let's consider one more example. Let's assume we have three different departments in our organization. We have IT department, sales department, and HR department. And we have different number of users in each department. Now, each user from each department uses different set of services. That means the users from each department would require a different set of license. Now, as an administrator, assigning these licenses one by one can be a hectic task because you have three different departments. You have multiple users in each department and every department needs a different set of license. So this is where group based licensing come in the picture. With the help of group based licensing, we can assign a same license to a set of users. We will see how to do this practically and things will be more clear. But first, let's understand what are the steps involved in configuring group based licensing and what are the prerequisites for using group based licensing in Azure Active Directory. In group based licensing, first, we create a security group. Then we add the users within the security group to whom we want to assign licenses. You can add these users either manually one by one or you can use dynamic queries. We have discussed dynamic queries in groups in one of the previous videos. I will share the link of that video in the comment section and you can go through it. So once you have added users as member within the security group, then we assign the license to the security group itself and all the members of that security group get that license assigned automatically. Group based licensing is a feature of Azure Active Directory. If you want to use group based licensing, you would require Azure Active Directory premium P1 license and you would require equal number of licenses according to the members of the group. That means if you have added 100 users in a security group, you need 100 licenses in your tenant so that each member of the group can get the license assigned. So now let's move towards our lab and let me show you practically how you can configure group based licensing. For the first demo, I have created three users in my tenant, Bob Ross, user A and user B. For the first scenario, we are going to assign same license to these three users for Bob Ross, user A and user B. As of now, these users do not have any sort of licenses assigned. Let's check for other users as well. 
We do not have license assigned to user A as well. And user B do not have any sort of license assigned. So the first scenario is, let's say we have three users in our tenant and we want to assign same license to these three users. So first, we are going to create a security group. Let's go to groups in Azure Active Directory, new group. Make sure you have selected security, not Microsoft 365. We are going to create a security group and give it a name. For example, license group. You can add description if you want. Set Azure ID roles to no. And under membership type, you can either add these users manually or you can use dynamic query. For this particular scenario, I'm going to add these three users manually. So we have Bob Ross and we have user A and user B. Click on select and let's add honor admin. Let's create the group. So the license group security group is created. Click on this group and then go to licenses. Click on assignments and from here you can select any license that you want to assign. For example, I want to assign Azure Active Directory Premium 2 license. So I'll select this option. If you want to uncheck any service within this license, you can uncheck this or you can go with default if you want to use all these services. Click on save. So this license is assigned to the security group now. Now let's go back to Azure Active Directory. Let's go to users. Let's go to Bob Ross. Go to licenses. Let me refresh it. So now we can see this license is assigned to Bob Ross. Let's check the other users also. For user A, go to licenses. And this license is assigned for user A as well. And let's check for user B as well. And this is assigned to user B as well. Now here you can see assignment path says inherited from license group. That means the license is assigned to license group security group. This is the name of the security group that we have created. These three users are added within this license group security group and the license is inherited from the security group itself. Now if you go back to group. License group. Go to licenses. Now here you can see license changes have been applied to all users. State is active. Enabled services are four out of four. So all these services under Azure Active Directory Premium 2 license is enabled. Now let's say one of the user has left your organization and you do not want this license to be assigned to that user now. Let's say user B has left the organization. So go to members and instead of removing the license from the user itself, if you will go to users and if you select user B, go to licenses. You can simply click on remove license and you can remove the license for this user, but this is not the best practice. This user is a part of security group to whom you have assigned the license and this user has inherited the license from the security group itself. So if you want a license to be removed from this user. So instead of removing the license from here, go to security group. Go to members and remove user B from the membership of this group. So this way this user is removed from the security group and all the permissions roles or licenses. Those are assigned on the security group will be removed from the user itself. So let's go back to users. Click on user B. Go to licenses. 
it should be removed now so it says now no license assignments found so this license is removed now so this is how you can assign license and this is how you can remove license when you are using group based licensing now let's come to the second scenario let's consider one more example let's say i have two departments in my tenant i have one hr department and i have it department let's say i have multiple users in hr department and multiple users in it department also now my requirement is the users who are part of hr department should get azure active directory premium p2 license assigned and the users who are part of it department should get microsoft 365 e3 license assigned so for this scenario what i have done i have added i have modified department attribute to it for user hr this is incorrect it should be hr and for user it department should be it this is correct so for the users who belong to hr department their department attribute value is set to hr and the users who are part of it department their department attribute is set to it so based on these two conditions we are going to assign licenses so we will go to security groups we will again create two security groups this time so first we are going to create one group for hr department under membership type this time we are going to use dynamic user because we are going to add the members on the basis of department attribute so here i will select department equals hr this is for hr department and let's click on save this is hr group and query says department equals hr perfect so let's click create now the next step is click on hr group security group go to licenses click on assignments and let's say users who are part of hr department should get azure active directory premium 2 license assigned click on save license is assigned to the security group now let's create one more security group and then we will verify the changes this time we are going to create it group membership type dynamic user dynamic query department equals it click save and click create let me refresh the page so it group is also created go to licenses assignments now let's say the users who are part of it department should get microsoft 365 e3 license assigned now from here you can uncheck the services that you do not want if you want all the services you can leave them checked and then click save so now this license is assigned to the it security group or it group that is the name of our group now let's go back to azure active directory go to users let's check user hr first who should have azure active directory premium 2 license so this license is assigned let's verify for the other user who is part of it department and who should have microsoft 365 license assigned let me refresh it so this license is assigned to user it now that is microsoft 365 v3 and for the other user as we checked azure ad premium p2 license is assigned to user hr like this and here you can see assignment path says inherited from hr group and for user it 
it says inherited from IT group. So this is the name of the security group where this user is added. So this is how you can configure group based licensing as per your business requirement. Now you must be thinking what if I create a new user in HR department or let's say in IT department how a new user will get license assigned automatically. So when we will create a new user we will set the department attribute to either IT or HR and based on the security group dynamic membership this user will be added automatically in the security group and a license will be assigned to that user depending on the license that is assigned to the security group. So let me show you this practically. Go to users, new user, create new user and let's give it a name user to HR who is part of HR department. And make sure while creating the user you are selecting the usage location because if usage location is not selected you will not be able to assign license though you can change it later. So for this user we will add HR value in department attribute and let's create the user. So this user is created now depending on the replication time you need to wait because first this user will be added in the security group and then the license will be assigned to the user. So let's wait for a couple of minutes and then I'll refresh the page again and we will verify if license is assigned to this user. So it's been two, three minutes. Now let's verify the changes. So click on user to HR. First, let's verify if user is added. The user is added in HR group. Now let's go to licenses. And we can see Azure Active Directory premium P2 license is assigned to this user and this license is inherited from HR group. In the next video, we will be talking about self-service password reset. We will discuss how self-service password reset works, how to configure this feature in Azure Active Directory and how end user can reset their own passwords using self-service password reset feature. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.